we like to cook a little bit uh, on Wednesdays, and we also want to teach. I mean, all of the experts on the show have been trying to teach me for years how to cook. Maybe I'll listen this time around. Jonathan Collins is here today. Great to see you. I do listen to you guys. I, I absolutely do. Uh, but I thought, we thought, you know what, we've got Jonathan. Um, you're such a natural educator and a natural teacher. You're such a pro. So let's start a new series, okay? We're going to start a new series. It's called Kitchen Basics, okay? Starring the one and only Jonathan Collins, Kitchen Basics. This is where you're going to get your cooking 101. And today we start with sauteing. Saute. And mm -hmm. saute literally means in French to jump out of the pan. Salt. So that tells right? you, yeah, exactly. It tells you a little bit about it already. Yeah. It tells you that it's going to be a quick cooking method. It's going to be a hot cooking method. That's yes. what causes everything to jump out of the pan. Okay. So the number one rule is preheat the pan. So what happens when you put product into the pan and it's cold? It starts to steam or to boil instead of sauteing and sauteing is what develops flavor we want to get rid of that moisture and we want to caramelize and concentrate everything that's in there okay so, so a hot pan a hot pan so I've got two pans going here mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with a chicken recipe and we're gonna do asparagus two very common things and you'll notice I've just put cameline oil in yep. Now, cameline oil has a high smoke point which is really important because I'm gonna add some butter a okay. little bit of butter because you get a ton of flavor from it and you'll see in the pan that these are already beginning to melt because I have preheated these pans. I'm just going to turn them up just slightly and yeah. then we can start to cook. Very cool. Okay, so you want the hot pan. You want an oil that's going to have um, a high smoke point. Exactly. And, and then, then you yeah. don't want to overcrowd the pan, as I said. So okay. you'll see here I've got some beautifully prepared asparagus trimmed nicely. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. It's going to be Ontario asparagus season soon. Reminding me of summer. Exactly. So I'm literally going to drop those in. One of the nice things about saute, even though you're going to want to cover it because you don't want to make that splattering mess it's a dry heat cooking method so okay. you absolutely cannot cover we want to get rid of the moisture even when the dish is done you can see our beautiful chicken here yep. if you were to cover that up what would happen the it would be moist and that who wants the skin you want nice crisp, you want crisp skin because skin. eating is all about texture as well yes so we've got some uh, things rolling here let's get this chicken prepared all right so you know uh Skin on, skin off, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. the, the key is with saute is it is all of your favorite recipes, but it's the principles of saute that you want to take home today. Right. So a little bit of uh, salt on top. We're going to do a little bit of lemon zest. This is going to activate as soon as the heat hits it. Yeah. And one of the things about this new series that you're going you're gonna to know for sure is that it doesn't take very many ingredients to make really incredible food. It's just about doing it right, really. It's right? about the procedure. So mm -hmm. again, you know, Make sure to preheat the pan. You can see while my pan is preheating, I was able to get the uh, chicken ready. Yep. Now I'm going presentation side down, and I'm going to roll that in, making sure that it's in some of the fat. Yep. Now, imagine if I had four of these chicken breasts this size. Too crowded? Too crowded, and I'm not going to be able to develop flavor. And I'm going to do some more things to develop flavor. Okay. Always making sure to season both sides. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add some fresh thyme. Now, fresh thyme, what that will do is as soon as it hits the heat, it will activate. And uh, so any of the essential oils, if you've got like an essential oil, you know, those little things at home, yep. it's the essence that we're looking for here. So first of all, that smells incredible. Oh, so so, so as soon as we put it in the pan, it begins to pop and begins to activate. And uh, you're going to love this. The best part of this particular dish is the fact that we're not going to we're going to make use of this lemon because we're going to caramelize it just by sticking it in the bottom of the pan oh. and cooking that away. And look at what, okay. what we end up with. This becomes a garnish that can be served. Okay. And so you imagine the the flavor of roasted lemon juice. Yes, very nice. This is the stuff you want to take out before you eat it because it's just annoying. Yeah, exactly. Right. And well, if you strip it off, and the nice thing is if you put it in a hole in like that, teeth. it's easy to pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. You you don't want to be on, on like on a first date and having no. time in your teeth. You have great no. breath, but I mean, come on. <laughs> so again, sauteing, because it is a dry heat cooking method, it's also a quick method. So this is not something that I'm going to go walk away. Okay, so keep I've got, your eye on it. Yeah, this is something you want to stay with for a couple yep. reasons. You're going to know by how it smells mm -hmm. and how it looks. So you can see with the asparagus here, they're beginning to sing to us. Yes. They're starting to uh, sing saute. Sing away, little asparagus. Exactly. They're so They're happy. Now, if you at home, if you're, if you've been doing, you know, steaming or maybe even blanch them ahead of time. Mm -hmm. The other great thing about saute, one pan. Is there anything yes. better than one pan? We love so that. Easier to clean up and yeah. great cooking uh, flavor. Okay, so 
when you're doing the asparagus, do you have to do anything with it? Are you moving them around, making sure they're evenly covered you with are. the oil? You are. So in a pan like this, all you're going to do, evenly covered with oil, mm -hmm. and just making sure to circulate them a little bit. Yeah. Now, uh, this is a cast iron pan, so mm -hmm. it's got some residual heat that's going to be carried. Yep. And then we've got some lighter weight pans that are more responsive and use a little bit less energy. Okay. So you can use cast iron, nonstick, or even a, a stainless steel pan. Doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. So okay. you can get good flavor development with all types of pans. Okay, lovely. So in the end, what is the recipe that you're making here? What kind? It's a lemon chicken. A yeah, le so honey it's garlic lemon chicken. thyme chicken. Lemon and thyme we chicken. Finish it uh, with uh, some beautiful clover honey. Lovely. So we can see here. Let's see if this has begun to develop. You can see as that begins to there. develop, it's starting to. But really, what we're looking for here in about uh, in about six minutes time is yeah. you're looking for that beautiful finish. Right. So uh, with chicken, larger cuts of meat, uh, you may want to finish it in the oven, yeah. but the key is like this, you're talking about a cooking time that's five to seven minutes yep. and it's ready to go to the table. Anything else we need to know about sauteing? There is and we'll bring, we'll come back and I'll show you a little bit more okay. about sauteing. Okay, we will complete it. I love it. So you're going to know by the end of this series everything you need to know about cooking and then probably we should test me. That's Absolutely. what we should really do. Well, I hope you're paying attention. I'm paying attention. I've got a little chef hat for you okay. and, you know, like we'll, we'll, right. we'll straighten you out. We'll I'm do it right. right now. Okay.